Holy shit. Sorry. Fucking damn fucking light wouldn't fucking attach to the stand. So I had to find some goddamn tape to jimmy rig this fucking thing. So I have a fucking light. So I look like my handsome self for my girlfriend, Kate Meany. I got to talk to Kate about her political decisions. Because she said, uh, she tweeted out RFK Jr. What? What do you fucking mind? RFK Jr.? That stuttering prick? There's only one party that'll codify Roe v. Wade, Kate, and that's the Democratic Party. And let me tell you something. You know, not to be political here, but, Kate, if you ever get pregnant by eight fingers, you're going to want to have an abortion. <laughs> Felt like shit this morning. It's fucking... My throat was killing me because I snore. When I snore, when I sleep really deeply and I'm snoring, forget about it. It's fucking, it's not healthy. I mean, my throat was shot. Now, of course, it's fine. But, oh, fuck. It's like awful. I'm sitting, I'm lying in bed. I'm watching that fucking bald gnome, Vince the Evil Lawyer. And I'm super chatting his fucking dwarf ass. Because he's saying all these fucking lies again. And I'm so sick. You know, Lori Kaufman is going to be very mad at you, Vincent. Because you're lying. Oh, that's that's Vince's wife. Yeah, Overslaw is Silent Mike's uh, ex-wife. That's her maiden name, which Vincent Dumbessy couldn't figure that out. It's supposed to be fucking some fucking genius, but he's not. He's a fucking, he's a fucking little gnome. But yeah, he, he did. You know, uh, he, he's just stupid, and he says dumb shit. But he, but he starts to claim that somehow I'm in Cape Coral for Bike Week, and I was spotted riding bitch on some guy's fucking motorcycle. Hey, Vince, I'm in L.A. You dumb fuck. Don't defame me. Then you said. I don't do sober shows. Hey, Baldy, I I didn't drink Saturday show and Sunday show. Get it correct. Don't spew lies. Don't be a Lady K. And Vincent, why, why when you were giving away your free YouTube memberships, your YouTube channel is connected to Muttering J? Oh, yes, we found it out. Dustin, my man, found it out. And I'll show you. I'll show you. I have the documentation, Vince. We'll see how you worm your way out of this one. I've been defending you all along, saying that you're not muttering Jay. But you better, you got some explaining to do. Why is your YouTube channel attached to muttering Jay? You got some explaining to do. Sco! I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. I don't think you're lying about it. But just explain to me, why is your YouTube channel connected to Muttering Jay? Okay, just tell me, why is your YouTube channel connected to Muttering Jay? I'll ask you again, why is your YouTube channel connected to Muttering Jay? Now, we have a lot to discuss today. First of all, now, you know, this new thing on Dabbles Anonymous, I don't ever go on there. It's fucking nothing but bullshit about me. But they're trying to say that Lady K is a better guitar player than me. Now, it's so funny. Lady K, this is his new thing. Because he's failed at everything else. I mean, and now his new thing is he's better guitar. I'll put, I'll put fucking this lead up against, up against fucking Lady K. <laughs> I'll put that up against anything that fucking snaggletooth fucking 
douchebag plays. I mean, you even in Rolling Stone magazine, my good review said infectious fucking guitar playing. And I played those leads, Lady K. You dumb fuck. So, and then that's what they're saying. I'm like, what's he talking about? And again, who gives a shit? Let's say you're the next coming of Eddie Van Halen, which you're not. Who cares? I got signed. I wrote songs. I wrote good songs that were played on radio nationally. I was in soundtrack, film soundtracks on songs that I wrote. You haven't. So you could fucking, all you idiots at Dabbles Anonymous could fucking talk all you want about who's a better guitar player and say that I was bad. And even I'll, I'll fucking say my lead on fucking Conan wasn't bad. It was, it was fine. Was it my best? No. But again, Lady K, you've never played on a national fucking show that had 5 million viewers on NBC. You know, there is a little nerves involved. You only get one take at it. It's not like you're a dumbass in a fucking studio fucking, let's just call yourself mittens because that's how you play. And no, no, I'm on live TV. My hair's down to here. I can't even see my fucking fretboard. It was pretty damn good. And I'll even play you some more of my shit when I opened up for Cheap Trick and David Lee Roth. Yeah, I got the tape. I got the goods. So, Lady K, I succeeded in radio. You haven't. I succeeded in music. You haven't. I succeeded in writing. You haven't. I succeeded in hosting. You haven't. Shut the fuck up. You're married to a woman eight and a half years older than you. You can't even fucking, her eggs are fucking old, too old for kids. She's even got eggs anymore. So shut the fuck up. School! And Lady K, you are tanking. Today, I watched a little bit of that creep off thing with him and fucking Moonhead. They had 40 viewers. 40 on YouTube, 40 viewers. Now I ask you, Lady K, you can't keep lying. You're the lol cow that has to take a nap and doesn't want anyone to fucking tread on his mandolin. Just remember, you're not in my league, okay? You're a loser. You'll always be a loser. You're a Rochester dweller. So shut the fuck up. Skull! And then, here's the best thing. I was just talking to fucking Dustin. And Dustin told me a lot of shit. Here's something for you. Silent Mike and the shit way went through my divorce documents, as Vince talked about today. And Silent Mike had the goal to goof on me saying I didn't pay my child support payments. Now, let's get something straight. Silent Mike, you know who got arrested for not paying child support payments? Bob Levy! He went to jail for it. So you guys are going to fucking call, call me out? Hypocrite. Really? I mean, it continues. Yes, Bob Levy was arrested. And yes, he's part of a class action lawsuit uh, against the county jail of the way they were treated. Yes, I know that. Yes, Dustin gives me everything I need to know. And yes, I had the tape of Mike dropping his fucking... Uh, guide your fucking underwear thing. And I had the tape of him stumbling. And I even have some tape of his stand-up, which is fucking horrendous. Thank you, Dustin.
Thank you. You're doing the Lord's work. School. You think you think you're going to fucking have people come to my bars and fucking fuck with my places? Oh, you fucked with the wrong guy. You done fucked with the wrong guy. And Joey C, I got news for you. Doxing is illegal in California. You putting my number out there, you're going to get fucking arrested again. And I'll be the fuck. You watch, Joey, you stupid fuck. It's amazing. It's amazing. And yeah, I'm shot out of the fucking cannon. To the seen the amount of taxes I had to pay today. Yes, I'm not happy about it. Skull! But here's the great news. I'm doing better than Lady K, and I'm doing better than the shit land. I'm doing better than Barbara. The only one, the only one I'm not doing better than is Brennan. But Brennan, you know, he's got to pay people. I don't. So who knows how it evens out. And I'm not going to sit here and brag. I just know I put out a good product. That's a fact, Jack. And I, I was watching Vince. And he did give me credit. I, yes, I, nobody's blocked on this show anymore. Nobody's blocked right now. I, he was right. I, that, he got one thing right at least, but, a, but then again, a broken clock is right twice a day. I unblocked everybody. Nobody's blocked. I don't give a shit anymore. Yeah. Did it take me a little while? Yeah. But hey, that's called growth. It's called growing as an individual. And it appears not a lot of people in Dalverse could grow. But I can. I adapt. I'm a winner. Survival of the fittest, Charles Darwin. School! <sighs> but fucking hell. And then, let me say this. Brennan. Now, I find you very entertaining. I really do. You know, I could watch you. Bo Shetty's a big-headed piece of shit. And the fact that he calls people the R word is hysterical, being that he is fucking definitely on the spectrum. He's more downsy than Vince. But I'll tell you this right now. Bo Shetty's a fucking... Bo Shetty is what's known as... Uh, what's the word? A fucking showbiz groupie. He just goes to where he can get. He he goes to where people are doing the best. So for fucking Boschetti's very tiny brain, he goes. Brennan's doing good. I'm gonna just. He fucked me over for Artie. Fucks me over for Brennan. But I'll tell you this, and you're not gonna believe this. And I'm, I know I'm going to get a lot of flack for saying this. Do you know who should be the next Adam? There is one guest that Kevin Brennan has that makes me laugh. And I actually like the guy. And I can't believe I'm going to say this. The person that should be the permanent Adam replacement is Chad Nobody could stomach the zumic. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, Chad makes me laugh. He does. I want to send him the link. I don't know if he could do it. Everyone's so worried about pissing off fucking Brennan, which is a joke in itself, because I'm on Brennan's side. So I, I can't see how he would get mad. But if Brennan wants Chad to get paid, I'll pay him. But Chad, if you're if you're watching, you should come on. Because Chad, he makes me laugh. And he does it very subtly. And I like that. But whenever a fucking super chat comes in, goofing on Boschetti's mom, Chad always goes like, oh no. <laughs> 
And I laughed out loud. Chad makes me laugh. Him and Boschetti is brilliant. Boschetti's an idiot. We all know that. But Chad makes me laugh because, you know, even when they're playing Ray's videos, you know, say it again, say it again, say it again, say it again. It's just, he's he's in on it. He goes, Kevin, be quiet. <laughs> you know, he, he knows what the joke is. So, Chad, if you're watching, you're doing a good job on Brennan. And, you know, like, I don't have any personal... I'm almost like Vince in a way. I don't really have any personal hatred for really anybody. Well, except of course for Tukey and Tukey Fatty Patty shit wear. So I, Lady K. After that, I don't really have any. Oh, and Lock Cabin Larry and Trailer Trash Phil. After that, I don't hate anybody. Uh, these are the cores. That Vince got me. School. See, I'm a trooper. Even though I don't feel well, I'm drinking. There's only one way to get better, and that is to get drunk. <laughs> ah, fucking hell. All right. I got a lot of fucking bit tape to play you. Funeral director. My man, I know you said that I would do better today on Vince's show if I did sober shows. Now, I'm sober right now. I only have one beer. I just started the second. Let me tell you something. Like I uh, super chatted Vince today. Five fucking beers are not going to do me in. They're not. You know, if I have five, six beers on the show, believe me, I'm not drunk. Just trust me. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna see if Vince can come on, because there's a lot. He, he's got a lot of explaining to do. Got a lot, a lot of explaining to do. So if he wants to come on, come on. Devin Alexandra, tell Downsy to get on here, please. FD, Shuli's unfunny and Carl steals bits. Hashtag Vince Army. You know what, FD? You're right. Lady K stole Vince's whole. You know, is stuttering John a narcissist? Here is the funny thing, Lady K. That is mere projection. You, you fucking snaggletooth, fucking mom, wife banger, are the narcissist. You're the mark. And there is, it is virtually impossible for me to be a narcissist. And I'll tell you why. I admit when I'm wrong all the time. I don't mind. I say I'm sorry all the time. I don't mind. I ain't perfect just by that sentence. I'm not. And I, and if I hurt anybody's feelings, I'll apologize. And that is not a sign of a narcissist. School. That's always been the case with me. Always. Always. Just got done calling. I'm done. A to Z. I called everyone for the Tonight Show a reunion party. Now, and the old music director, <laughs> music director the ex um, bass man from Dio, uh, who I love very much, is uh, calling all the band guys. It's going to be a hell of a time. And uh, yeah, I know Dabbles is like, Oh, John's trying to kiss Jay's ass. No, I'm not. Jay was the best boss anybody could ever hope for. Jay Leno is the man. Not only is, one of, is he one of the best stand-ups that ever walked this fucking planet, but he's the best boss ever. What he did for us, Howard Stern would never do. He took a 50% pay cut and... That's about 17, uh, 17 and a half mil. So we could stay employed for those last two years. That's what Jay did. Because the fucking idiots at NBC decided they should replace him with Jimmy Fallon. Too soon! 
way too soon. And they done fucked up because now Fallon is getting his ass kicked. They fucked up with Conan and they fucked up with Fallon. Jay was the man. After Johnny, Jay. End of story. And I'm telling you, writing for Jay and hanging out with Jay many times, many, many times, Jay Leno is fucking brilliant. Brilliant. And I'm going to tell you this. You know who has a little of that? A little of that brilliance of being funny every second? Artie Lang. And you know who also has it? The late, great Norm MacDonald. Skull! Those, those people, they, and I hung out with a lot of funny people. Nick DiPaolo, another fucking, just makes you laugh. The guy is brilliant. I know that we are not on the same side politically, but I don't give a fuck. I'll always love Nick and his wife, Andy. I will. Nick was a fucking riot. Did we get into a fist fight in Boston? Yes. <laughs> but he was a riot. And even after that fist fight, I had, you know, he invited me over to have dinner at his house. It wasn't really a fist fight. I think, I don't know, we started pushing each other. He was mad because we couldn't find the restaurant in Boston that the uh, Oedipus at the uh, BCN station was taking us to and and then he just got angry at me and we started fucking scuffling. It didn't end in any didn't end in didn't end in fisticuffs, but of course I didn't back down. And Nick is uh in bet, you know, in appearance, he was in better shape than me. But it didn't matter. I mean, you know, it was a friendly little thing. And then after we had and then we had dinner and drank and we were all cool. But you know, I think either he got me in a headlock or I got him in the headlock. And Artie always thought that Nick would have won, but who cares? I don't really give a shit. Nick's a tough motherfucker anyway. Funeral director, my man. <laughs> Thanks for the five gifted. Hey, shit, where? That's real. You see, that those are real. They're real gifted memberships. Yours are not. And that is why Bob is bailing. And you have to know, when you fucking... When you, when you start shafting people out of their money, you know what happens? They leave. And Bob is leaving. He is abandoning you. And I'm telling you right now, shit way, this is what's going to happen. This is exactly what's going to happen. When Bob starts doing the show with Vince, you're going to be mad. Even though you're trying to say, I give him my blessing. No, you don't. No, you don't. I know you. I really don't. But I know you just from watching your smug ass face. Bob is not. Bob will. That little fucking um, honeymoon is over. It is over. Bob started to make money on his own. And when Bob does his show, he makes the money on his own. Now, Vince. I got it. You know, this is something. Listen to me, Vince. Here's another thing that irritates me about you. Gene is not that hot. And I know you want to say that Gene is some gorgeous. You even said Gina was hotter than your wife. Are you out of your fucking Devin Alexandra? Do me a favor. If you're watching, you tell Lori that Vince said that Bob's Botox wife is hotter than your mom. And I couldn't fucking believe it. I could not believe it. First of all, vagina is Botoxed. Okay? Face completely Botoxed. There's not a wrinkle on her face when she's 50 years old. That's impossible. There's a wrinkle on mine right here. You had the big crease. That's impossible. Okay? So don't fucking... And you know what? She looks like a fucking mannequin. Now, I'm not disparaging him, Bob. I'm not saying she's ugly. She's she's prettier than fucking the behemoth. She's prettier than fucking, you know, fucking, uh, you know, uh, fucking Lady K's mom wife. But she's not a fucking 10. And the way fucking Vince fucking 
just fucking just talk like, oh, she's so hot. Shut up, Vince. Shut the fuck up. She ain't that hot. You know who's hot? Kate Meany. You know who's hot? Kristen Carney. And you know what? Felicia Gillespie. They're hot. Gina's not hot. She's all right. I'll give her a seven. But I'll give Lori an eight. But it, there's not even a fucking question in my mind. If you told, if you said to me, John, now if Kate Meany, let's say Kate Meany was older, you know, and you said to me, John, uh, who would you, uh, you know, uh, all right, like who would you rate as the hottest who's ever been on any of these shows? Hands down, Kate Meany. Hands down. Not even close. Well, Chris and Carney hasn't been. Kristen Carney's pretty fucking hot. And Dove Davidoff's dick must be a fucking... Someone should fucking bronze that fucking thing. I mean, he that guy gets some hot fucking women. Now, I got hot women, too. I do get hot women. But I'm just saying. Fucking hell. Skull. Fucking Dove. Of love. You're fucking killing it. Even Alex Stein got Kate. That little gnome. No, I like Alex. Chop Tobis, thanks for the two bucks. So you weren't actually the host of Last Call. Yes, I was. I was a co-host. Look it up. I was the fucking co-host. How much you want to fucking bet? It was me and that English broad. Get Scott the Pace wife's on. She'll tell you. She was one of the producers. She was there, and I fucking was the co-host. Shut up. I'm making five Gs a week. That's right, shit, where 20 G's a month. It's just amazing to me. These fucking people. They don't. Brandon Tartikoff said, John, you've got it. Meaning that this face, these talents could exist in broadcasting and be successful. And he was right. Fucking hell. Daniel August, my man. John, John, I really had you back today. Producer Joe Felon and Discount Don Jameson, unknown, were in their Discord saying you stole Bob's trumpet, even Melton's uh, fucking hill, but I got them. I doxed him on Webster. First of all, my trumpet is still played on the Howard Stern show. I started doing that in 1990 on the Howard Stern show. So don't even, I, and I've been doing that since I was a fucking kid when I played the trumpet in all district band in elementary school. So, but thank you, Daniel. But all these guys do is lie. And Lady K, for him to say that he can play the guitar better than me is ridiculous. But of course, Dabble's Anonymous. Oh, oh, John can't play guitar. Okay, we yeah, have right. Guess who I played for? Ozzy. Okay, guess who I played for? Joe Walsh. I jammed with Joe Walsh. Has Lady K jammed with Joe Walsh? I don't think so. Thank you, Greg and Bob. You're welcome. So I don't want to fucking hear this bullshit. Holy shit. I jammed with Leslie West. Skull. Rest in peace, Leslie. I'm looking right now at the guitar he gave me and he signed it for me. Ah, fucking Lady K. You be jelly. Don't you get it? You be jelly. You're a jealous little fucking saber tooth. Mom banging loser. Short Fridays. Jimmy Chasers, right, John? I don't know what that means. I mean, come on, man. I mean, seriously. Uh, probably cool. Now, let's see. Mike Aha. It's funny. There's a guy at the, uh, well, I, I shouldn't say it. At one of the places I go, his name is Chris Haha. 
because he always laughs at everything he says. <laughs> it's like Silent Mind. <laughs> or Pocky. <laughs> Fucking losers. Uh, Vince owns you, John. Get you in every time, dummy. Vince doesn't own me. I mean, his deliveries, I could sense it's coming any second. He don't own me. And he should. I fucking super chatted him $8 today. Which, you know, that's a lot of money. That's a pint and a half at the bar. Chop Tobins. Thanks for the two bucks. <coughs> oh, fucking hell. I see. I can feel the... F you can't even tune a guitar. It's always out of tune. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh. Yeah, you know what I mean. Here she comes, Lynn. Mm -hmm. There we go. There we go. Here you go. Here you go. All right. Hey, wow. What the? What do you know? Stuttering John Ben opening up a cheap trick and David Lee run. Holy moly. Hey, let's go rock and roll. Do it, Johnny. Do it. Do it, Bobby Johnny. Do it. Jack me on the record. There we go. Yeah, okay. Okay, Lady K. Yeah, okay. You can play better than me. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, Lady K. Yeah, okay. All right, Lady K. This is my buddy Johnny K. Hey. Lady K, I know you say, hey, oh, I don't have my, I don't have any friends, huh? This is still my good friend. This is in 1994. September 18th, Lady K. There's my buddy Chris. He died, though. Died at a young age. May you rest in peace. Hey, there's Jigs and Bruce. There's Bruce, my drummer, there's Jigger. And that's the ex drummer of Stuttering John back there. There's my bros. There's my bros. And, you know, except when Chris died, I still hang with these guys every time I go back to New York. Skull! Mighty K, you're not going to beat me. Stay up. I guess. Uh, six foot tall. What do you think? Uh, I'm Dan Lake. Oh, you can't see this. Oh, oh, you can see this. Here's Tim LeBlanc and Johnny K. Here's Chris. <laughs> My friend Jigger was drinking at like nine. Uh, it's Lucy, my man. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the extra drummer of Stuttering John back there. <laughs> Didn't blow up yet. Wait, I think Vaughn is in there. Um, but that's Bonnie. Stay that's up. I guess. Like six foot tall. What do you think's better? Here we are. Uh, Look at this, what would stop? Stuttering John, cheap trick. David Lee Raw. This is where Rob Sorella This is the backstage area. There's my that blue thing is my dressing room. Look at Johnny. 
man, I wrote the song, Larry K. What do you think of that? Look at that, man. Look we try to do it. Yeah, that's live, brah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. That's right, Lady K. You fucking idiot. Field director. Send Vin the link. Always willing to explain. Side. I'm waiting for him, FD. He, 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 I sent him a link. I sent him, I sent Chad, but Chad's probably like, wait, I might be second chair for Kev. I can't fuck this up. I can't come on Stuttering John's show because I might fuck myself up. Uh, it came, that was pretty sexy on that stage, huh, baby? Come on, man. I mean, come on. Fucking me, fucking shredding. K Mac 3344. Uh, thanks to us because he's MJ stupid. Last to know always. I don't know, dude. You know, I have so many. I I should start playing the silent mics falling. We also found out silent Mike did not get divorced in Bergen County. Nope. There is no Morse versus Morse. In Bergen County. Someone threw us off on a wild goose chase. Don't worry. We're going to find it. Maybe they're not even divorced. But she, I think she got remarried. We will find it. And. Oh. And when we find it. I will read every fucking piece of it. Look, man, you assholes are going to dish it out. You got to learn to take it. That's how it works. John's ready with Cam. Thanks for the two bucks. Stern, only reason you got record deal. You suck at guitar. Yeah? I don't know. The video fucking says differently. And by the way, let's just say I do suck. I don't even care. <laughs> it doesn't matter. And no, it's not only because of Stern. Uh-uh. Do you know that Atlantic Records fucking Ready Whip came? Do you know that Atlantic Records and the producers of Airheads were fighting for my single? I'll talk my way out of it to be their single? Well, let's just go with your premise that it's because of Howard Stern. Well, if the song weren't good, why would... They fight over it. Why was it played all over the fucking country nationally? Hmm. Huh. You work on that and get back to me. Skull! You're not going to beat this. Funeral director. Please text Shirley Phillips over your to block me on TSN. Look, shit weighs dying. Funeral director. I'm telling you right now. You should jump ship just like Bob is jumping ship. You guys got to understand something. Shitway is dying. Dying. When it comes to his show. He is failing. I'm telling you he's failing. So if I were you, I'd get out of the fucking shitway of business. He, he was a failure at Stern. He's a failure in life. He's a failure in his marriage. Don't forget, his wife said... They be separated. He likes to deny it now, but they were separated. Daniel Log is my man. John, new producer Joe and Don Jameson are on Dabbles doing an interview with the guitar magazine, Hair Metal. They added you for being like Millie Vanilli and not playing guitar on your albums. Okay, listen to me. I just showed you the, me playing guitar. I played all. I played it on every song on my album. Now, granted, I did have a second guitar player, but Bill Titus was my 
other guitar player, did not I'm trying to think if he played any leads on my first album. No, he didn't. I'm trying to think if I, if I threw him a bone here. I don't think he did. I think I played I played almost everyone. Randy Cantor played lead on Riverboat. Randy Cantor played lead on The Place. Um, but everything else I played lead on. So, it, I mean, that's the most ridiculous thing in the world. And I've had Randy on here. And he'll tell you a billion times. I mean, please. Please. You know how much tape there is of me playing? You gotta be out of your fucking mind. You believe that horse that you're an idiot. Total idiot. Total dumbass. Mike V. We love you, John. Great comments on Vince Lawyer today. Thanks, Mike V. I love you too. And I'm glad you come to the dark side. But it's really not the dark side. This is the this is the this is the good side of the force. <clears throat> A Jedi you are. Funeral director. Thanks to us. Creature on shirt looks like Vin. Vince Army. FKB. Yeah, it kind of does. This is from my nephew. Not the nephew that's getting married. Oh, here's a weird thing. So Cardiff Electric. Now, I don't personally have a problem with the potato. I don't. I don't. I don't care. I mean, he's fine. I wish we just show his face. I think I know why. I think he actually works from what I'm hearing in my private eyes on this right now. I think he might even work um, at schools, but I'm not sure yet. So I'm not saying I know that for sure. But I'll tell you, he emails me, Seton Hall. I'm like, he goes, I'm not even going to, don't worry. If you don't want me to, I'm not going to broadcast this. And I'm like, Seton Hall, what the fuck is Seton Hall? I'm going, I used to do, I used to do Steve Apria's show. Who ended up being an employee of K-Rock when he was in college at Seton Hall. And I remember me and my lead singer, Mike DeMayo, went to Seton Hall. Uh, and we were going to name, because we were at a pizza joint. We asked him, some some guy was there. And and the lady said, he's dead now. And we thought, thought it was funny that that's the first thing. And that we named our band, he's dead now. But I, I was like, what? what the fuck is Seton Hall? And he's like, well, you shouldn't show your whole stream when you go on Reddit. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> he's like, all right, I'm sorry. I I think I fucked up here. Yeah, I don't know. Carter, it's fine. I'm glad you gave me the opportunity to say don't broadcast it. But I, I, I don't know what Seton Hall is. If you were implying that one of my kids is at Seton Hall, they're not. So I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I mean, my daughter is not. She's not at. She she don't start grad school till next year, and my youngest son is in fucking high school. So I'm like, what are you talking about? Uh, Mike Oha, thanks for the duck. Shuli's making puppets of your kids to use on TSN. Yeah, well then I'm making puppets of his kids. That's it, and I don't give a shit. Mike B, thank you two bucks. Will you be on with Vince Lawyer and Bob tomorrow? School! I would have been, but Vince wants to do it alone with his boyfriend, Bob. I never saw a guy that in love. I mean, now, I'm fine, Vince. Be more in love with Bob. I mean, you sent them donuts, I get tampons. So that's fine. Be in love with Bob. Send Bob shit all the time. Why not? Why not? Do it to Bob. It's even better. Because then he eats it with his mouth fucking open. It was disgusting. Came on. Five finger prostate punch. Thanks for the two bucks. Hi, first time listener. What is the show about? It's about me. TiVo DeVito. New member. Yeah, remember those TiVos? I, I had a TiVo. I think we got them for free when we were at Stern. School. 
for all the for all the youngins out there, TiVo was where you could actually record things and watch them later. Now you don't have that. You just stream them. Serial Killer Jack. Hi, Monotone Matt. John's Ready Whip Can. Still say you host the last call. C.E. What C.E. showed otherwise? The fuck is C.E.? You know, I'm not going to sit here. Somebody could pull up the shows. At first, it was like a group bunch. Then, when they narrowed it down, it was me and the English brought. That was it. And it was just us two. He's my friend, Leo Gunn. <laughs> Thank you for the 20, Leo. John, looks like he was smart to not let Elisa into your house and call the cops on her. Yes, I know. Vince played the police body cam footage today, proving what a manipulative psycho she really is. I know. Stuttering John wins again. School! Look, Leo, when she walked into the Stevie Tomatoes and fucking had no regard for the patrons, for the restaurant, for the manager, and continue to play live music even when asked to stop, even by not only the manager, not only the bartender, but also the patrons. I knew she was batshit crazy. And I snuck out the back. I, I, I went with my friend Bob. Sativa and his wife, and we end up going to his house. Then I saw she was in front of my house, and I thought she was doxing my address, and I threatened her that I'd call the cops. Now, I never did call the cops, like Lady K likes to say, but, I mean, she is bat shit crazy. She be cray cray. Nate G, you vote for the high taxes, Kami. Oh, God. The whole basis of the Democratic Party is to tax the rich and not the poor and middle class. So if you don't know that very basic fact, then you're an idiot. And you there's nothing that I could do to help you. Just like when I talked to Kate. Kate. There's only one party that cares about women's reproductive rights, and that's the Democratic Party. And that's a fact. Trump bragged about overturning Roe v. Wade. And I know that, you guys, I don't want to get into politics. But that's just a fact, Jack. Jay in Japan. Hey, buddy. Thanks for the five bucks. Survival of the fittest was coined by Herbert Spencer, not Charles Wilder, man. 160 IQ ain't helping you much today, eh? What's not trying? First of all, survival of the pittest maybe was coined by Herbert Spencer, but let's see if you're completely accurate on this. If you will, then I'll say I done fucked up. Uh, the Aura of, of Evolution, Darwin. Well, I don't know. They're all saying, Survival of Fittest is a phrase that originated from Darwinian evolutionary theory as a way of describing... Here, do you want me to show you this? Because, you know, because if I don't, then you're going to call me a liar. But now I want an apology from you! I'm so sick of your bullshit. Oh, I got Johnny. Johnny, you got to calm down here. I know, I know. It, it, it just, it just, you know, this whole thing. It, this guy is, this guy drives me crazy. Okay. What does that say, dummy? Survival of the fittest, the phrase originated from Darwinian evolutionary theory as a way of describing the mechanism of natural selection. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Fuck. You. And I know you're not going to apologize because like most narcissists, you won't even say, I was wrong, John. 
You were right. Saw we, saw we. You won't do that. John's ready with Cam. You thinking Chad Zemeck is funny. He's incredibly unfunny. Well, he makes me laugh on MLC. And when he's with Bo Shetty, he knows exactly. The funny part is not Bo Shetty. Uh, Bo Shetty's an idiot. The funny part is Chad winding him up without Bo Shetty knowing it. And I don't even think Kevin is aware of it. I know it. But then again, of course, because I'm a genius, but I know what Chad's doing, and I'm laughing. Because nobody else seems to know. I mean, I'm sure some of the people watching know, but I know it, and I'm laughing. School! DJQ, people are still blocked on X. Okay. You got me there. But it's really weird. And I know you're an asshole, but I don't care. I'll talk to you. DJ, I once tried to unblock everybody on Twitter, and then it wouldn't let me do it. It was bizarre. It just wouldn't even show my blocked accounts anymore. And I didn't understand it. Now I can, I guess, but I think when you hit a certain limit of unblocking people, it 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 just it won't let you. It's really weird. I, maybe they changed it, but I did try. Joey C., you're about to get arrested. You can't dox people who live in the state of California. So I'm going to tell you right now, you'll be in trouble. And you have a record. So you better watch the fuck out. Because believe me, I would love to see you behind bars, you dumb fuck. And I will do everything in my power to make sure it happens. And don't worry, Joey. My PI, who is on my fucking payroll, is filing. You done fucked up, boy. Now, you might go back to the slammer. Oh, I got to play some of, oh, this is the best. Lady K today. Oh, my God. And this is why I like watching Vince. So I don't have to fuck it. Vince does the work for me. Vince, I know you think Vince is playing me. No, no, no. Vince is my researcher. Vince is literally my researcher. He don't know it. He too stupid to know it. But he, Vince. He, he does all the research for me. Then I watch his show. And then I, okay, timestamp, timestamp, timestamp. And, and I'm all set. I got my show. I'm like, okay, boom, 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 boom. Done. Let's go. Ryan A. You ever apologize to Artie for the her? Horrific shit. Okay, first of all, Artie should apologize to me. What he did to me is nothing what I did. I sent him a tweet going, next time you're trying. But that was in retaliation. But all of you people, and Ryan, I thought we were getting on good terms here. You have to understand what Artie did to me was much worse. Was much worse. Bringing up my trans kid on a show and, and you know, and having Grillo on and trash my trans kid and then having being in cahoots with Pocky, who was trashing my kid. Trust me, Ryan. Artie was an asshole to me. I just wrote something in retaliation. I'm never the one that draws first blood. Even now. And I'm going to, well, Kevin probably has his show behind a fucking paywall because he's a coward. But I'll tell you right now, I fucking, uh, Fatty Patty, Kevin was spot on today. Fatty Patty ruined Aaron and April's marriage. And Kevin said it to a T today. And 
instead of feeling bad about being a fucking fat asshole, he's like, hey, look what I did. This is what an insane sociopath Fatty Patrick is, Patrick Melton. He's a fucking sociopath. You don't, you're happy you broke up a fucking marriage? You're happy you put my kid on the, you know, on your wall? You're happy you trash Kevin's wife, who happens to be fucking stunning? I mean, you're happy for attacking Kate Meany and her mom, you fucking animal? Fatty Patty, let me tell you something. You had your chance. I was there. I was like, come on. Let's go outside. What did you do? I'm sorry, John. Yeah. Because when you see me face to face, like you're going to see me, you're going to be like, oh, come on. It's all a joke. No, it ain't. Not to me. Trust me. John's making threats again. No. I said I'm going to have a long talk to you. I. Uh, I am Dr. Remulak. Thanks, Kelner S. Uh, fucking hell. Mike V. Starting to love you as much as Vince Loy. Scout Uh, nope, you know, you would think after the compliment I gave Chad, he'd come on. Thanks, John. That was nice. Nah, nah. You'd think Vincent and Bessie would defend themselves. Nah. He's busy fucking jerking off the bomb. Spec to my man. I love these fucking numbers. 5678. See, you know, this is how I remember this. And you know what? Now it's in my memory. Joe DiMaggio, 56 consecutive games. 1978. Yankees win the World Series. It's fucking crazy, man. As soon as I see it, boom, 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 boom. It's just, you know, I got to tell you, it's a challenge being a genius. I know most of you don't understand this. But just, like, just, boom. Just numbers, boom. It's crazy. It's, it's, it's unheard of. Why do you think I ace every exam I take? I read something, I'm stuck. I can't get, it's there. Then I just pull it up in my brain. Our brains are computers, you realize that, right? You just pull it up. Everything, every, every day of your life is in, your brain's memory banks. Know it. It's like, I'm telling you it is. Mary Lou Henner, fucking from Taxi, has proven it. She can tell you everything she does, has done on every day 50 years ago. Every date she's got down to a science. She can tell you everything she's done. That's fucking unheard of, right? We're all capable of that. But she's out of a, she's out of this world genius. I can't do that. But I can anything I read, I'll I can pretty much recite what it exactly said. I, and I'm not saying that's actually something to be happy about. It it's a fucking OCD hindrance. Now this fifty six seventy eight. You know it, it'll be in my head. But thank you, Spectrum, my man. I used to have a phone number, 9827, right? Boom. Two best Yankee teams in the world. 1998 Yankees, 1927 Yankees. As soon as I had the number, boom. Comes right to me. And don't, without thinking this is all a flex, without thinking that I'm just bragging to you, I will tell you that if you want to remember phone numbers from friends or your at a bar and you hit on a girl or whatever and you don't have your phone, just put it into your 
use things that you're not going to forget. So let's say someone says, um, I don't know, 58, uh, 02. Then you go, okay, with me, I'd be like Harry Carson, Giant, 58, number 58. Uh, Derek Jeter, number two. Like, it's just boom. That's how you remember. One of the bits I used to do on the, on the Tonight Show was a correspondent piece called I'll Bet on Anything. And one of them was, I said, if you write 20 numbers down, give me 30 seconds, and I bet you $5 that I will be able to recite all those numbers back in sequence. And you know what? I did. It's it's amazing. Anyway, the product you output is so good for complete separate YouTube channels can make a living from it. Those channels should kick up to you. Skull, brother. I agree, Spectre. But they don't. They don't even thank me. Lady K's got a fucking picture on his wall of me. Does he ever fucking give me a kickback? No. Nothing. You know why? Because he's a cheap fucking dweeb. He's a fucking asshole. Missed. Ah. School! Ah. Hey, FK, Mamma. You look hot in that picture. Didn't you want to be known as the queen of the Doubleverse? See? There's that memory. Five finger prostate punch. Is this all you talk about? This is fucking sad, dude. Then why are you still here? Why are you still here? Go watch Ray DeVito. Hey, penis wrinkle. How are you, buddy? We say you're sorry, then reoffend. You didn't actually mean it. Penis wrinkle. Whatever I did to you that you're so mad at me i say this from the bottom of my heart i'm sorry and maybe one day we could be friends why can't we 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 be friends why not well we gotta be in a fight Uh, funeral director, thanks for two bucks. Vince says he's way more liberal than you. Opinions. Vince is not. Vince uses the N word constantly. Oh, hey, Vinny boy, you said there are no Jewish cops today. Okay. Now, let me show you something. All right. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> All right. Hey, Vince. Don't make blanket racist statements anymore because I'm getting kind of sick of it. Jews have served proudly in many police departments. Don't make fucking blanket racist, anti-Semitic statements. That is why you're not a liberal. That is why you're a conservative asshole. And your wife is Jewish. So, Lori, Alexandra, tell your mom your dad actually had the audacity to say that there are no Jewish police officers. 
which I find incredibly insulting. School! Shame on you, Vince. Don't do that. I'm telling you, Vince. I'm Now, I'm giving you advice. Don't make blanket statements. Only the Sith deal in absolutes. Okay? That's like saying there's never been a Puerto Rican cop. There's never been an African-American cop. There's never been a Jewish cop. Really? Really, Vince? Really? That's what you fucking think, Vince? Vince, this is your this will lead to your downfall. Making incredibly stupid statements that have no basis in reality. And it's all about reality. Uh, Bo Beardington, my man. Thanks for the fiber. Lady K truly is truly despicable. Lady K is truly despicable. He's now saying you didn't even play on your albums and are mediocre at best. Well, the lies ever end. Look, Lady K is trying to do one thing. And he succeeds on some level because I respond. First of all, I played on all my albums. All of them. It would be the most ridiculous thing to say. I was in my Battle of the Bands in high school as the lead guitarist. So, I mean, think of how stupid it is. And there's billions of tapes of me playing lead on my guitar. So to actually think and to get signed, I had to play for the co-chairman of Atlantic Records. So he could lie and say everything he wants. But trust me, they're all lies. And he does it so I react. Because he's got to save his sinking ship. And I don't care. He said I didn't graduate NYU, which I did. And no, yeah, anyone could buy a ring. But my father bought me this when I graduated. And that's why I wear it. Because he passed away. May he rest in peace. But he lies about everything. So I react. It's very simple. And I know what he's doing. And then he gets people. Not like you, Bo. But even you are commenting now, Bo. And I'm a little disappointed in you. And don't take this the wrong way. Because I like you very much. But understand that all he's trying to do is get a reaction from me. Why? Because I'm the Duke of the Dabbleverse. I'm the Duke. And that's the truth. And I'm going to pull Midnight Run. I was watching Midnight Run last night because I love that movie. With the great Robert De Niro and the late great Charles Grodin. And uh, John Ashton. And Joey Pantolina. But they're all trying to find the Duke. And I called my nephew last night. I'm like, hey, you got to pull some clips from Midnight Run and do a nice little thing. The Duke. We got to get the Duke. Because that's all they're doing. They got to get the Duke. They got to engage the Duke. They are doing their best to try and piss the Duke off. Because without the Duke, they die. Do you understand that? They're like locusts. If there's no, if there's none to eat, they're dead. And I'm their money. I'm their breadwinner. So they just play me and comment, and that's what they got. Because they're fucking losers. School. That's why Brandon is successful. He doesn't do a show about Stuttering John every day. He might mention me every now and then, mostly in a favorable manner. But he doesn't. He's not going to sit and watch me all day. He's got his own show. 
And that is why when if I see Kevin Brennan, much to Vince's, because I know he gets very jelly, but I'll give Kevin a hug because I enjoy his show. Skull. Uh, I'm in the fourth beer. I can't believe it. I only took four beers out. What the fuck's wrong with me? Chop Tovids. Nick would destroy you, little fella. Man versus boy. Nick. Who's that? Oh, Nick DePaul. I don't think so. You know, I have a certain kind of tenacity. And I, I don't really believe there's anybody in the Dabbleverse that could kick my ass. And maybe you can come up with somebody. You know, maybe you could say Casey. Casey would probably be the only one. But, you know, he's so pathetic. It's, I, like, I, don't even, I don't even want to bring him up because he's so pathetic. I feel bad for Casey. He lives with his mom. He's a 50-year-old man who lives with his mom. What, I mean, come on. Ryan A., thanks for the debuts. Stuttering John, it's Brandon Tartikoff. I made a mistake. No show. Oh, God. Go to IMDB, please. All right? I mean, seriously, if you're going to make these statements, I mean, it's just... Field director, thanks for the two bucks. Gina equals queen. Good teeth, thick hair, no wrinkles, perfect. She's not perfect to me. I don't find her to be that attractive. And I saw her body in AC, and it was okay. And I'm not going to say I wouldn't kick her out of bed. I would not. So that's why, Bob, don't get all crazy. I'm enjoying watching your departure of the shit network. So don't get all crazy. She's a very pretty woman. I'm just saying Vince is obsessed with her. And like somebody chatted, super chatted to him today. He's doing that because he's really obsessed with you, Bob. You know? And to say that your wife is hotter than his is... Lori! Are you out of your fucking mind? Lori, come come to the good side here with this. Come on, baby. Mike V. John, who's hotter, me or Carl's mom wife? You are, Mike. I mean, Carl's mom wife, I, I would not even kiss that thing. I swear to you. I've been on dates. I was on a date recently. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. <coughs> oh, fuck I was on a date on Saturday, and this woman claimed she was fifty-five, and I, sh and she had a great body and her pictures and a beautiful face. Showed up, not so much. The body was okay, but she looked like sixty-five, and I'm sitting there now. I'm stuck. Now I got to sit there and have dinner. You know, lunch. At Rocco's in Studio City, so now you could all fucking call them. And I'm just like, you know, fucking hell, man. Like, I look like my fucking pictures on Bumble. I look like my pictures on Tinder. These fucking, these women, they don't look like they say they do. And I'm like, I gotta stop asking the fucking, you wanna have lunch? No, drinks. I'll have two drinks. Maybe I'll get so fucking. Beer goggled out, I'll fucking bang it. But I don't want to. And I know she wanted to. The last two dates I've been on, they did not look like their pictures. That's why I just got to I just gotta break it and just propose to Kate Meany. Skull! If you don't direct the thanks for two bucks, I pay a million for Gina in this proposal. I love you. Not me. There's not one I would pay. I pay a thousand to bang Vince's wife just because he will always have to know that. And, you know, she's got a great party, but it would be, I mean, how great would that be? That whenever that little dwarf gets on top of his wife and he bangs her, he's got to know Stuttering John has been there. That would be fun. Oh, my 
God, that would be great. Joseph Silva, thanks for the fiber. I don't know what makes you so stupid, but it's really working for you. <laughs> I know, I know. Look, man, I, I'm just having fun. John O'Reilly, was Brandon referring to the clap or other STD? Brandon. I don't know what the fuck this guy's talking about. And I will thank all of you at the end of the show. We're super ch- FK Mammy. Oh, I love you, baby. Since you rating, where do you fall? I used to be an eight, I always said. I was an eight. Now, nah, probably six and a half. Maybe seven on a good day. You know, now that I'm cleared with my heart, uh, I hit the gym again, and I'll probably be like a seven. Yeah, I, I would say seven. School! I think that's a fair assessment for a 58-year-old 58, 58 man, wouldn't you say? See, PT just popped up. John's ready with Cam. 30-second commercial bit. You definitely had it, Fatso. What? I don't know what that means. You better explain it. What's with these fucking two dollar super chats, you cheap fucks? Dustin the muttering J is Vince Aloya. You're a buffoon. Dustin is not Vince Aloya. That's a fact, Jack. Dustin is not. I know Dustin. I talked to Dustin, and I have seen Dustin. He is not Muttering J or Vince. Steve C., thanks for the fiber. John, you're doing great. You're like the Andy Dick of the Dabbleverse. You, Chad Zumick, Aaron Immelt, and Ray DeVito are the best whack pack. Thank you, Steve C. Your mom's box. Uh stumbling drunk at 4.15. Yeah, I'm stumbling. I'm on my fourth beer. My fourth beer in an hour. Okay, let's do the math now. I've I've had three beers in one hour. How many beers are in my system? Do If one beer dissipates every hour. Do, 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 do. There we go. <laughs> yes, so you figured it out. I have had two. so now I only have two beers in my system. <laughs> Hobby Addict, thanks to the fiver. Hey, you old queen, admit you want to caress KB's tip with your nose. It's, it's okay to be gay. Of course it is. I have two gay children. And uh, now nah, I don't really, I'm not, I like women. I like big tits. Chop Tobins, thanks to the five bucks. And thank you for finally elevating yourself to. Five dollar super chats instead of two. Skull. So you can tune a guitar. Can I tune a fish? You just choose to never do so. I'm sure, that makes sense. We're not all as slow as you, John. You literally can't even tune a guitar. Yes, I can. But my strings, my acoustic are very old. I haven't changed them in ten years. I took that guitar on the road for me. When I was headlining the improv in Las Vegas. Bud Freeman, may you rest in peace. I did a song called, uh, uh, what the fuck? I used to do a comedy song on stage. Um, oh, fuck. I'm stuck playing Keno. Might as well be in Reno. I got no wife. I got no dough. Which is why I play Keno. There you go. Five finger prostate punch. 
So people give this tarred wop money, do nothing. Doody wop, downtown wop. Doody wop, downtown wop. Dang Lin Wang. John, you age like milk. I like that picture, by the way. It's a nice one. Uh, penis ring on my man. Just shred live on here. Seems sus only playing clips. Dude. Dude, do you see this finger penis? Do you see that finger? You know I can't feel these two fingers anymore? Do you realize that half of the... <laughs> Almost half of the fingers that I can play with are fucking fucked. God, do you guys understand? I lost feeling. I'm going to a neurologist on April 23rd because, because I can't feel half my lips and my two fingers and the toes on my left foot. Do you not understand that? And this fucking finger is bent. I mean, come on, man. Give me a fucking break here. Throw me a bone here. Fucking have a heart. Jesus. Stuttering, OCD, bent finger, no feeling is no way to go through life. <laughs> Michael P. Who owned the Chiefs? Owns, owns. Thanks for the bucks. Is this last month's show? Go Bills. Yeah, you keep rooting for the Bills. <laughs> Skull! It's like rooting for the Brewers. Joseph Silver. Thanks for the five bucks. Thanks. Uh, you and your band were awful back in the day. Oh, Long Island Rocks. Shout out. Probably worse now. Just because you get on a bill doesn't make you a good ding dong. Don't make me bad. Don't make me babe. Traded fucking riffs with Joe Walsh. Can Lady K say that? Did he trade riffs with an eagle? I don't think so. <laughs> right, let's play some of his fucking snaggle too. This is the best. This is too funny. Now, this is like real vocal fry. And, uh, but, you know. Vince. I don't know why I... How do I not get a hundy from somebody if they're playing the Jeopardy theme with my trumpet hand? All right. Look at the face of this loser. Now, Derry has a poster of me on the back, right? And this is the guy that goofs on me. I mean, look at this idiot. This is the dweeb that you wanted to punch in the face in high school. Seriously. You know he was not well liked in high school. What could they possibly write that you're so offended by? I find it so hard to see that anyone could succeed putting themselves out in public, especially. In Welcome to. <laughs> and that's what you got to deal with in terms of Bob. I mean, he's great. He's so sh over the years. He's if your show's good enough, it will survive. It will get better. And unfortunately, since the blocking has been implemented about a month ago, it's really deteriorated to the point where I don't even watch anymore. I'm, I know Mike V and other people don't super chat anymore because you can't. What's the point? They can't handle any type of criticism. What possibly could someone say or write that would make you say, I don't want your money, even though I'm out here. What's up, Ali? You gave the dues payer. He would be a lot better where I think that place is falling apart. You, you make the best point ever. Think about this. John didn't take my advice. And this is why we couldn't work with each other four years ago. I mean, things have changed. But back then, if there was any type of criticism on Twitter or on YouTube, he'd block them. And I said, dude, you do have a name, but we're not going to make it if you block people. 
And Ali's bringing up a beautiful point where John in the past few months has stopped blocking for any reason. Yes, you I want agree. to put my kid's picture up? So what? What's what's going to happen to I you if you see your kid's picture next to a hot dog and they're implying that she's filleting? I understand it. Big fucking deal. Read it and react the way you do. I love his natural reaction. This is why John is the best. And you're 100% right. John has taken over this Dabbleverse. And now John, Ew. guess what? Is making the most money out of all of these guys, out of all of them. Thank you, man. And I think he's during his show, he actually went through and unblocked everybody. Yes, I did. So that's what Ali's saying. He listened to what I said. And this is just not, not advice that I came up with. It's just over the course of the past 10 to 15 years on YouTube, you see what works and you see what doesn't. It doesn't mean that it's guaranteed to work, but most likely at this level, if you're blocking people, you are going to lose. I can almost guarantee it. Not necessarily because you're blocking people because they can always create another account. We know that in their situation. I don't know, Big Black. Is he dressed in white? No, no, you left the item to John and I concluded that John is not a narcissist. But for answering questions, ask, Where I don't know, Big Black. Is he What the f enough with the scrolls? I don't know, Big Black. Life beautiful. No, no, you left the crazy person. <laughs> and that's not really a answering questions not to specify anything until the person that's questioning you actually tells you what you did wrong lately uh and i i think i'm on to something i think i figured out what his personality disorder actually is mm -hmm. that leads him to act the way that he does because we all watch john and I oh my god is carl joking here is he now claiming he is coming on to john's alleged personality disorder which isn't true that he's a narcissist I've been watching John for years. Uh, 2018, I think, was the first time we reviewed yeah, the show. You're and I went, oh, this is like a dumb, crazy person. You never and that's not really a great diagnosis of what the actual issue is there. So now I think I'm starting to hone in on it a little bit. Back. Hold on. I got to play that again. That's exactly. Suffering is <laughs> Emergency show. <laughs> That's all right. That's the exact issue there. <laughs> he, he's like he's like choking on his own saliva while he's talking. I ne I've never heard a guy talk like this ever, ever. <laughs> Devin Alexander, you like that? Thank you. Answering questions, not to specify anything until the person that's questioning you actually tells you what you did wrong. Lately. Uh, and I, I think I'm on to something. I think I figured You're out not. what his personality disorder God. actually is that leads him to act the way that he does. Because we all watch John. And I oh my God. Is Carl joking here? Is he now claiming he is coming on to John's alleged personality disorder which yes. isn't true yes, that is. he's a narcissist yes he is i've been watching john for years uh 2018 i think was the first time we reviewed his show and i went oh this is like a dumb crazy person <laughs> and that's not really a great diagnosis of what the actual issue is there so now i think i'm starting to hone in on it a little bit better <laughs> well i i we were talking about it on Wednesdays <laughs> that leads him to act the way that he does because we all watch john and i Oh my God. I love it. Is Carl joking dude, here? Dude. Is he Lady now Jay, claiming he is coming on to John's alleged personality disorder, which you isn't true, this? that he's a narcissist? I've been watching John for years. Uh, 2018, I think, was the first time we reviewed his show. And I went, oh, this is like a dumb, crazy person. <laughs> and that's not really a great diagnosis of what the actual issue is there. So now I think I'm starting to hone in on it a little bit better. <laughs> Well, I, I, we were talking about it on Wednesday. I didn't <laughs> that leads him to act the way that he does. Because we all watch John. And I oh, my God. We all watch Is Carl yeah, joking here? One, you is he now claiming he is coming on to John's alleged personality disorder, which isn't true, that he's a narcissist? I've been watching John for years. Uh, 2018, I think, was the first time we reviewed his show. And I went, oh, this is like a dumb, crazy person. <laughs> And that's not really a great diagnosis of what the actual issue is there. So now I think I'm starting to hone in on it a little bit better. Well, I, I, we were talking about it on Wednesday. I 
didn't want to blow the bit because I thought I thought this guy was just making a video about Jeff. So we know that seven months ago, eight months ago, I had doctors on describing what narcissistic personality disorder is, the characteristics. I applied them to John and I concluded that John is not a narcissist. But for Carl to come on seven months later and now claim he's on to something is absolutely ridiculous. John and mm -hmm. uh well there's a dainty drink me, 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 me. don't does he not know he's the low count and by the way what is log cabin larry doing seriously he's got like like the death star as a microphone and look at these guys you got a ghost on the bottom right then you got saber tooth I mean, these are, listen, ladies and gentlemen, these are four people that obviously never got laid in high school. I mean, look at these guys. Holy shit. I mean, it's pathetic. Uh, it was a Dr. Todd, like Dr. A, Todd Grande. Yeah, I thought it was yeah. kind of like a troll, but no. it, that he's describing John to a T. It was, it was impressive. Everything he's saying is... He's talking about revenge fantasies yeah. and all the shit that John does. It's so childish. The reason why personality disorders are so easy to recognize is... You know what's childish, Carl? Watching one person every day. So you can fucking have an existence. That's what's childish. Maybe, Carl, you will realize that we're all laughing at you i know i am i know most people are i mean it's amazing to me this low cow thinks that somehow he is fucking not the laughing stock of the double verse that he is he most certainly is if you have the mental capacity to look for them and you have to learn this is that the characteristics are very blatant and they're repeated throughout the course of someone's life and if we look to elisa jordana who has very high narcissistic characteristics in her personality, you're going to see the similarities. But to come on and say, well, a doctor said that John is going to act this certain way and then apply it to John is something we did seven, eight, nine months ago. <laughs> but these guys are acting like it's novel. Uh, what is it called? Vindictive narcissism? narcissism? Uh, Carl doesn't even know what he's speaking about. Uh, the, the vindictiveness is is part of the now if you guys are gonna like the reason why i like vince is even though he's an asshole and we all know that and even though he's a fucking troll we all know that i do like him maybe it's a pity like and i understand that but what i like that he does here is he dissects lady k and that the great thing about Vince, and I, I hate to fucking give Vince a compliment because it'll go to his bald head and then he'll probably kill a few hair follicles along the way, but is that he does call everybody out. He'll call me out, which he has, but, you know, he does realize one thing. I am the famous one. I'm the Duke. He knows it. And he's not going to refrain from admitting that. But the problem these idiots have is they don't realize that I'm their paycheck. And that is the thing that I like about Vince. He calls them out for their horseshit and like, hey, without John, you're nothing. You do realize that, right? And Lady Kane. I know you think that Vic was that is not a big deal, suffering attack, but it is. It is because it's a big deal. Because, because that 
people are abandoning you. After the nap and after the mandolin, that was the jump the shark moment for Lady K. Mark my words here, penis wrinkle. Mark my words here, Apostle Woody, and every one of you other assholes. Mark my words. We are all laughing at Carl now, not with him. Yeah, there was a time that he was successful at goofing on me. But then when you take my career next to his, you realize he's the low cow. Apostle Woody, thanks for the two bucks. Music is rubbish, two chord. Well, you know what? Maybe you should try and figure out how to spell chord before you, you know, put me down. BS a monkey could play. Really? First of all, the clip I played for you, let's see. Let's see. F, B flat, G, C, A, D, 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 D. That's already more chords than you just said. Guilt has about, I think, 10 chords in it. And I wrote that song, Alone! And it was on the album cover. People love guilt. Skull! And I wrote the music portion in the studio, and I wrote the lyrics, flying to Florida, to Disney World with my uh, second love of my life, Karen. Karen! I wrote it on a barf bag, believe it. Now you do the joke. Well, that's why we all barf from here. Yeah, yeah. Penis Rickle, thanks for us. They knew how Stern would promote your song, even if it sucked. Contrary, you know, I'm going to put this up again. Because he brings up a significant um, fallacy, if you will. Myth. Radio stations wouldn't play it because I was on the Howard Stern show. But because it was so good and so requested, put it this way, uh, what the fuck was this? 104.3 in New York told me, the program director, John, we'd love to play you. We'd love the song. But we can't because you're our competition in the morning with Howard. And then I was getting back from a gig in Albany, penis. And I was with Karen in Karen's Mitsubishi. Red. And I heard the end of the song. And I go, wait a second. Did you just play my song on 104.3? What? This is my dream. One of my childhood dreams was to get played on the radio. I remember when BAB used to have like the, um, I forget what it was called. Uh, it was, uh, I think it was, I think it was Fingers that did it. It was like the, it, the it, like the growing artists, you know, and they played our two songs. Our, the band was Trader and, and we were so excited about it. And, uh, but that was like homegrown, it was called. But this was really in the rotation. I was played five, six, seven times a day on one of four. Uh, was it Q-Rock? Uh, I forget now. Somebody will know. But I was played every day. I was in heavy rotation. Because they finally said people like the fucking song. So we don't care. And a lot of radio stations across the country said, fuck it, the song's good, we're going to play it. But again, penis, Lady K's never achieved that success. And that's the one thing you have to send. You, you could say I'm a shitty guitar player all you want, but I played, you know, my music, I, I played in all my albums, of course, but I, my music was played all over the country. So here's the difference, penis. What horse are you backing? The guy that jammed with Joe Walsh, jammed with Leslie West, opened for Ozzy and Motley Crue, or the guy that does cover songs without any vocals. That's your choice. Have at it. Have at it. 
because you I'm telling you right now you're back in the wrong horse Mike Oha Leno took you as a revenge fuck to Howard Dunning untrue Dave Berg the segment producer saw me and I'm a celebrity get me out of here said this guy could be the next Ed McMahon that's a fact Jack you could say you could write whatever narrative that you want to write but that is what truly happened then when I was a guest I killed it and when I killed it you know I should play that I don't care NBC is going to strike me that's the whole thing like uh uh, what to, uh, Brennan was so worried about, like, oh, uh, you can play NBC. I don't think they'll strike you. So I think they'll just, it, it, like, you can't monetize it. So Uh, hold on. Let me see. Uh, let's see. Uh, do 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 do. Do. Oh wait, there. I think I just saw it. Uh. No, that's not it. So, uh... No. No. Fucking hell. Shit. I mean, they might fucking strike me. I don't give a shit. So, uh, you know... Who cares? I I could just always work with the army. Oh shit! Did I say that? Fuck! Can't say that, John. Uh, no, no. Uh. -uh. I don't care. You know, I don't I don't know. Maybe I'm who gives a fuck? I mean, really? I mean they're gonna strike me for playing this. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now and then when they see me on the show, they know you know this guy's got it. My next guest appears regularly on the Howard Stern Show. He was also just on I'm a Celebrity. Get me out of here. <laughs> Please welcome stuttering John Melendez. How are you, John? How are you, buddy? I'm doing this for you, Kate. Look how hot. Man. I'm doing this for Kate right now. Let's see. Have a seat. All right. What? All right, thank you. There you are. I can't believe I'm here today. Well, it's, it's nice amazing. to have you here. Well, you're a celebrity now. Was Jared from Subway busy tonight, or what <laughs> that's happened? Right, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you catch on fast. Can I take it? this off? To take my... that stupid hat off. Yeah. My wife says I look good with the hat, but I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, well. Well, we can't see your face. Let, pe let yeah, people yeah, see. There you go. There you go. Then it's ridiculous. And you know, it makes your hair look good too. But yeah, you know, you now tell me about. It. You're just back from Australia. From yeah. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. Yeah. Let me be honest. When they called you, did you know you were a celebrity? No. <laughs> I always considered myself like G-list celebrities. You know what I mean? But that, I was I was flattered they called. Well, me. I mean, it is sort of. I mean, in, in New, well, Howard Stern is syndicated. It's a radio show. Yeah. And you're one of the pop, you know, more popular people on the show. Hey, hey shit, where? <laughs> exactly. I was the pop. I was a popular one. Oh my God, I'm stunning. 
but I mean, when you tend to think of celeb, you think, you know, Jennifer Lopez, Ben Affleck, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that yeah. type of thing. Yeah. So what did you, did you think it was real? What did you think when they called you with this idea? I just did it for the money. Okay, let's... <laughs> I, I thought... I mean, you know... I thought all the money went to charity. No, anything we want... All right, I, I'd probably get struck, but, it, you know, you can watch it on YouTube, but it it is fucking funny, you know, if you watch it. And, yes, I killed it on the show, and uh, that was it. You were incredibly lucky, Howard... Darren made you funny and hack at everything else you ever did. Music, comedy, acting, and writing. Really? I would tend to disagree. And um, let me see. There's, there's one part of this I wanted to play. Let me see. I want to get to the point where, let's see. All right. All right. Yeah, I'll share. I, I don't care. They'll fucking demonetize me. I'm like, I mean, who gives a shit at this point? All right. All right. I, I don't remember where we are at. Who are some of the other celebrities <laughs> on the show? Uh, the other celebrities? Well, I mean, ABC is a big network. They have access to we major, had, uh, major celebrities. We uh, had uh, the uh, gold medal winner, Bruce Jenner. No, that was what year? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I know he's a gold medal winner is he told me about 2,000 times that we were there. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, in 1976. <laughs> Bruce is one of those guys, long-winded, I mean... Yeah. Like, 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 you ever have a guy who, like, you know, tells you a long story, but there's a punchline at the end? Yeah. There's no punchline with Oh, Bruce. I see. It just kind of... It just goes on and on. It's like, <laughs> it's like watching the paint dry, but it never dries. It's just always sticky, yeah. Just never shuts up. He's got an ego. He's always looking at the camera, looking at his expression. Wow. It's, it's what can I call this? Yeah, yeah. Like, I wanted to go put my hand in the thing of spiders just to get away from his conversation. Really? <laughs> All right, who are some of the other people? Uh, we Melissa had, Rivers. Wasn't she Melissa won? Rivers was there. <laughs> and she's famous because she's... She's Joan Rivers' daughter. And, you know, she came in second. And the whole rumor was that Joan... <laughs> but I, I think that's a lie. I think, jo I, I think Joan just had her plan. Wow, it sounds like a... And then there was enough of that. Really? Oh, <laughs> wow, man. It's a... Wow, it sounds like a... A little island raid. <laughs> well, I mean, it's 15 days with the same people. Right. You know, everything about and, them. And they're, but they're celebrities. Who, who are the other celebrities? Some of them? <laughs> you just love saying that, Well, Jay. it just makes me laugh. Uh, uh, the other celebrities, uh, Alana Stewart. Now, who, now, who is she? I know. That's what I thought. <laughs> this is called uh, killing it, Chick. I don't think I was... I, I'm the only celebrity there that actually has a job. Yeah, I was going to say... But, but uh, Alana Stewart was... She was married to Rod Stewart and George Hamilton. Of course. Well, that's and, you know, uh, she just shouldn't have been there. She was, she, wow. Because she, she, she's way too high maintenance. They had a shrink on site. She saw the shrink two to three times a day. <laughs> I swear to God. What you see him about? <laughs> and, and it didn't work, because at one point, she calls downtown Julie Brown the C word. Ooh. I swear to God, and then Julie Brown comes up to her and threatens to kill her. <laughs> and then I always say, and, and that explains why Alana lasted a little longer, because when, when Rod Stewart and George Hamilton heard that she could die, that they kept calling to keep her on. Oh, I... <laughs> Look at now, if you had told this, if we had known this beforehand, more people would have watched this damn thing. It was, you know, it was fun. I mean, it, it wasn't, it was boring. Yeah. To be there for hours yeah. and hearing everyone's lives, it was boring. And but, the... but, it, and... but it was fun in some... You know, in some respects. Yeah. Now the winner was Chris Judd. Chris Judd was there, and he, see, and see, he's a celebrity because because he used to date Jennifer Lopez. Okay, now what well, he's married <laughs> to her? What he married? What yeah, 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 he was married, married to her for two hour. years. And I'll tell you how I'm so mad at my wife because my wife sent us a letter that they read, and 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 it was very touching. Yeah. So then, so, so Chris Judd starts to cry, 
because it's bringing him back all these memories of Jennifer. Right. So now I'm crying because I know by Chris crying, is he's guaranteed to win because he's a single guy crying <laughs> over a woman. <laughs> it's in the bag. And, and Bruce <laughs> Jenner starts crying because, you know, the camera's not on him. <laughs> wow, this is, sounds like, wow, this is... Fascinating. Now we have a we have a tape of one of the challenges. Explain to me what this, oh, the, what's happening here. Let's take a look. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, should I tell you what it is? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, <laughs> now, are you? You look like you're uh, you look like you're Peter Pan with the little pink tights. What's that? <laughs> what's with the pink? They tights? made us wear red because then they could see us in the jungle. The jungle looks like you're in Epcot Center or something. It does. It does. <laughs> I mean, that looks like a jungle. It looks like you're in a little park. Yeah. I, mean, I can see a Walmart through those bushes. Yeah. If you look no, it's there. true. And, and it's the only jungle that has a resident shrink. You <laughs> yeah, know yeah. I mean? You know. Now, would you have done it again? For the money? Yeah. No, Jay. Will you stop with the money? I don't, I don't have Jay Leno money. No, that's true. I yeah. don't even have Kevin money. I, got, I don't got any money. <laughs> well, you I know why? <laughs> We're real celebrities, right, Kevin? Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. So, you know, you like to say, well, oh, it was all about Howard and Jay getting back at Howard. Now, it was because I'm a, I was a likable, good looking dude. And I was funny. I could think of my feet. Look at that. I mean, I had fucking Jay Leno laughing in my first appearance on the Tonight Show. This is the reason why Conan had me on seven times, you dumb fuck. Now, Lady K, you were never on the show. Uh, were you? No. Shit, where? Were you ever on the show? No. That's why I'm the Duke of the Dabbleverse. Scoot! And, you know, I don't give a... NBC, YouTube, listen to me. That's me. And I get you can... I can't monetize. You can't strike me on it. It's like Kevin said, it's on YouTube. I'm not... I'm not, you know... I don't care. You can take the advertising away because I don't fucking ever say it's... Okay, but you're advertising anyway. Ryan A, two bucks. You were tossing your hair so much on Conan. Yeah, I mean, God. Dang Lin Wang. <laughs> Is this the new sodomy? Thanks, boss. You net worth says, first of all, I think you meant your, and then you wouldn't capitalize the N on net. $500,000, true or false? Way false. Way more. Way more. Let's just say at least quadruple that. Da da dee, da da da. Kelnares, member for two months. <laughs> Respect, but I read Bob first performed the hand trumpet in 1983 on the Mike B show. Holland Tunnel retired a bit when he, when five dicks fell out. <laughs> School! Uh, thanks, Kel. I appreciate it. Mark. Turnquist. Thanks for the uh, five bucks. If paying your fair share of tax is so important to Democrats, why don't the Bidens do it? They do. They always do. You know who don't pay taxes? Trump. That's a fact, Jack. And he might be going to jail. And then you're still going to love him. Kate Meade's going to start supporting RFK Jr., which is just taking votes away from Biden which is stupid. Uh, short Fridays. Uh, thanks, Fiber. Democrats have migrants beating people in the streets, and they get let out the same day. What can they do to Josie? First of all, short Fridays. The Democrats tried to pass a border bill. You know who stopped it? Donald Trump. You know Why? Because he wants to do it when he's in office. Just like he wanted to do the infrastructure bill. And promised us every week for fucking four years. And never did it. You know who did it? Biden. Thank you. Now go take a nap. Do-do-do. Do-do-do. 
Do 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 do. Soldier fifty. Did you did to you? Didn't Artie give you money? He he yeah. He offered to give me two thousand. I was struggling to pay legal fees, and then said I never have to pay him back. And then he started whining because he was so heroin fucking induced that I didn't pay him back. I'm like, you told me I didn't have to. You offered it. I didn't ask you for it. And I said, fuck you then. And I sent them the two grand. And that was it. And, and I didn't want nothing to do with it. Penis wrinkle. Thanks for the bucks. But Narx blames everyone else for their actions. That's you. Well, um, okay. Thank you. I don't know what that means. I don't care. I'm almost at my two hour. So let me get through these. Beloved chat of my man. Thank you. I'm glad you're over here. Every show in the double verse is racist every single day. I started something today. Stuttering John show is the only one you can watch with a person of color. Fact. Thank you, beloved chatter. And I loved hanging out with you in Atlantic City. Skull! Ah. I don't know why more of Brennan's guys don't come over here. I mean, it, it, look, Kevin does a good show, but I do a great show. Kevin does too, and I do. All the other shows are shite. I mean, Vince is okay. Daniel August, thanks for the fiber. John, now Joe and Don are on Discord saying that the reason you're taking out to read the chats is because you want it to look likely a lot. <laughs> Skull. Just remember, Daniel, producer Joe is a felon. And remember, there's one person without a criminal record in the double verse, and that's me. Okay? Who are you going to believe? That's your choice. I, I don't really give a shit. Beloved chat of my man. Thanks for the fire. Can you imagine exhaling to a friend of color? What would a nog... Yeah, I know all these things. I don't even know what that is. A Nog or a Newport or Shirley's. It's actually embarrassing. All those shows are very racist. I don't even know what this. Look, I don't know what this shit means. I mean, they have a code. I have no idea what it means. Snub. So you're saying you're a tar like Rain Man? No, I'm a genius in a lot of ways. I mean, obviously, Rain Man was 100% autistic. I don't have any autism. And uh, kind of fucking normal, if you think about it. If you're the to my man, challenge Shuli and Carl to IQ this. They're afraid I won't. I already have, and they haven't done it. So uh, I'll do it any day of the week. Short Friday's into us. It was a joke, John. I know there are Jewish cops. Well, that's the thing. But Vince says these blanket statements... And they're ridiculous, and it fucking makes my blood boil. Because he's supposed to be an attorney? I can't wait to the day that Vince, Vincent and Bessie, not Lori Kaufman, not a Father Michael, but I can't wait to the day that Vince gets pulled over by a Jewish cop. And then I hope that guy throws a book at him. What a stupid thing to say. There are no Jewish cops. Vincent, you should be ashamed of yourself. How do you call yourself a lawyer? There are no Jewish cops? Are you out of your fucking mind? You fucking dwarf. Aren't you excited about the BS show moving in the mornings? Nobody is. See how much my they... Look, they don't make any money. I like shitting tubs. Why do you look like shite every day? Well, I look a little under weather today. And I got to do laundry, man. I hate doing laundry. I just hate doing anything. <laughs> My P.I. Dusty. John! I heard Elisa was talking smack about you again. Who cares? She's a felon. Born wrong, Fle Fred Flintstone. I knew it was going to fun. Born wrong, Fred Flintstone. John, you remind me of a human chimp.
why. Fiona Directed, thanks for two bucks. Vince. Vince's not racist, just a just a Jewish doctor more likely than cop. Vince is racist. That's a fact. And he's an anti-Semite. John's ready with can. Cardiff proved it was a 30-second commercial bit. Liar. What was? What are you talking about? Can you please tell me what you're talking about? I don't know what it is. What's a fucking 30-second commercial bit? I'm trying to rem I'm trying to get. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, my PI Dusty. Thanks for the bucks. Any content these hacks do, unrelated to you, is trash. I know. That's the funny part. That's why the creep off had. I'm. So, I, I said forty. It was sixty viewers. Nobody gives a fuck. Nobody. Lady K ruined his whole gig. And it's up. And I've noticed super chats are going down. People aren't interested. They're interested in Brennan and me. Tilden. Using on the spectrum of Downsy as insults, bigot. On the spectrum, that's bad. Downsies, because he sent me Downsy fucking um, a fabric softener. G Rob, how do you depict the B sharp and treble clef? <laughs> oh my God. As Eddie Van Halen once said, when the great Wolfgang Van Halen came back and got scolded by his music theory teacher for not doing what the teacher told him to play. And Wolf, the young Wolfgang came home. And you know what Eddie said? He goes, you're fine, Wolfie. Music theory. It's a theory. It's not fact. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you, Wolfie. John's ready with can. Do all geniuses eat microwave bacon? 60-year-old, I'm not 60, and the best way to make bacon is microwave. If you if you haven't figured that out, you're an idiot. Daniel August. John, you showed these losers today. Good show. I don't care. Don't ever think I care what they say. I'll respond, but I do it because, hey, fuck it. I love calling them assholes. They're internet bullies. That's all they are. School! Marina! Marina! Thanks two bucks. Mint's lawyer. San Puerto Ricans are half ends. Does that make you one quarter Newport? Um, well, j Law said that Puerto Ricans are indeed black. So I guess I'm, yeah, I guess I'm black, I guess. I don't know. Thank uh, Tivo DeVito. Thank the two bucks. Gene is above what Levy should get. Congrats. I don't know. Maybe, but show me a hot girl. I'll show you guys sick of fucking her. Pete D. Thank you five bucks. Is it true that high pitch Eric carries Vince Lowe around in a papoose? <laughs> That's good. Pete D. That was a worthy. That was a worthy super chat. Holy shit! It's fucking that late. Not Jimmy Stewart. Tell us a story from the sump, like a fight story. Call Vinny, please. Okay, from the sump. In North Mesopotamia, my first introduction to Hitman Dan. His felon, felon dead brother, Patrick, at the time was about seven years old and came with Hitman Dan. Me and my friend Mitchell England were on the swings, probably having a jumping contest as kids do on the swings in Margaret Park, right across the street from my house. And then Pat Goffrey, Dan Goffrey, Gary Costantino, Stephen Russell, um, 
came in from the other entrance, the back entrance, walked up to me and Mitchell and said, what elementary school do you go to? And we were transferred to Pickin after Baldwin Elementary School closed. And they had to move the smarter kids out of East Plain Elementary School to Pickin. Robert E. Pickin Elementary School, which is a lot further than East Plain. East Plain was in walking distance from me. So I had to bus to school. But anyway, then when we told them Pickin, Patrick Godfrey and his brother Danny and Gary and Steven said, you don't go to East Plain, then get the fuck in the sun. We're going to beat your ass. And when they escorted us into the sump, like the mafiosa, it was like a, it was like straight out of Goodfellas if you're seven years old. I, being as fast as a jackrabbit, ran to get my big breasted sister Joyce and Jimmy Piccolo and everybody else to g- save my buddy Mitchell England from getting his ass kicked. And they ran into the sump, and there was Mitchell at the bottom of the sump by the sewer. It's like a cement. Uh, it's like round. We used to go in there once in a while. But usually rat infested, but it was like the sewer or whatever. And right in front of there, Pat was punch, was about to punch Mitchell in, in the face. And then my sister, Jimmy Piccolo, and a bunch of the other older kids in the neighborhood chased Danny and Pat and Gary and Stephen Russell out of the fucking sump and out of the fucking park. And that's where the war started, as we called it. And we were in second grade. Thank you. I hope that answers your question. Slim Fairley. I love you, John. Thank you. Penis wrinkle. Thanks for the two bucks. The bloody hemorrhoids alone bring it down to a full. Okay, penis. See, that was funny. Maybe we're fucking, you know, like having a common ground here. Mike V. Thanks for the two bucks. The queen, FKA Mammy, and the peen are in the house. Yes. John's ready whip can. Thanks for us. What was the colostomy bag looking thing last night? I don't know exactly what that was. Gina Bobina. Thanks for the bucks. If you were a seven, the scale must be out of a hundred. Gross. Yeah. Yeah. That's not the real Gina. Gina, I think, has a little attraction for me. It's, uh... Joseph Collins. Thanks for the Did you put through the call when the serial call called Howard? What went through your mind when you heard him on the air? I can't remember that. I mean, fucking so many people were sending fucking death threats to Howard at that time. Robert Myers, thanks for the tenor. <laughs> Come out to Vegas when Lisa and I are out there going to be hanging with Vegas beer Jerry. Uh, I might. I'm, I'm going to call my buddy there too. But I, I don't know what. I mean, like you already paid for the rooms, Robert. You should have. Like, you should have told me, and I would have got you the rooms, you know, for free. You know, you got to do that first. I'm a man who gets things. Like Red in the Shawshank Redemption School! Uh, Pink Taco. Thanks for the two bucks. TSM membership is now $10. Will you increase yours? No. Not at all. Look, I'm not a grifting fucking network. The Stuttering John channel will never grift his people. Ever. Just know that. Know that. Shitway will grift as much as he can. Because he's got to feed that behemoth. And we know. She probably eats out of a trough. <clears throat> Robert Myers, members, member for 34 months. 
Thanks, Robert. <laughs> that ain't no beard. I had that much stubble when I came out of my mom's womb. <laughs> Robert, I love you, buddy. I really do. And you know that. And I'll do all I can. Uh, I don't know if you want to go on the roller coaster. Just let me know. No, 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 no. I use mine the way to guide. Sing. Lord, I use my underwear to guide Cause I don't wanna hide Wanna get my dicky wet And that's okay to bet There we go Fucking hell, man This show went so quickly Two hours, I can't believe I've been talking Fake Gina Bobina Show us where all that drool went, I wanna see it No, fuck that, I have a map right on I have a dribble mat right on the <laughs> screen. Hey, yeah, let's go. Jay Warren, thanks for the fiber. Is it true you used to prank call Jennifer Gray asking to enroll in the Matthew Broderick driving school? What? And where can I find the audio of that? No, I never did that. You got me confused. Uh, Geo Klein. John, what class is your 2007 Mercedes? It's not 2007. But it's a C300, but it's not 2007. I'm actually tough. Sing to us. Show us how stained that couch is, drool stains. I don't really have any stains. I have the cats ripping it. Any questions for Bob tomorrow? Hey, Dowsy, I asked you to come on, explain yourself why your YouTube channel has Muttering Jay in there. Now, why don't you fucking answer before I make my own fucking determination? I sent you the link. You didn't come on. Something tells me there's something rotten in that mug. Questions for Bob tomorrow. He's going to lie about any of my questions. Bob. And he's going to lie. Are you aware that they buy views? That's one. Secondly, are you aware that they are fake gifted memberships that Trailer Trash Phil uses and he gets them from Argentina or other uh, South American countries? I want, and then say, and then when he goes, yeah, no, no, they're all real. Go, Bob. How much exactly does the shit where you pay you each month? Now he's not going to answer honestly. I know that. And then say how often you bang Gina. He's going to lie about everything. That's why he's not a good broadcaster. You know I'm brutally honest, Vince. I I don't lie about anything. But he does. Your mom's box. Oh, I want to play this TV, Lou. Fuck. Uh, it, it, oh, there's so much to get to. Why do I talk so much? Thanks, Viber. What do you think your BAC is now? It's Monday. What's BAC? I don't know. All I know is I've been texting with the ex exec, executive producer of the Tonight Show with Jay Leno, and I'll tell you that we still love each other, and we will always love each other. She's one of the greatest women I've ever met, and um, that's why when like Lady Case, I oh, you, John doesn't have any friends and all. That. Really, I don't know. I have a lot of friends from the Tonight Show, a lot. School. I mean, fucking hell. Chop Tobins. Thanks for the bucks. Your music is awful. Carl's way my talent. He don't have any real music. He don't play any original music. I don't give a fuck what you say. I got signed. He didn't. I have two songs on soundtracks, and it wasn't to promote the Stuttering John name like you think. I like shitting tubs. Uh... 
Thanks for five. You're playing this clip because you will forever be living in the past. Can't let it go. Can't move on. We'll do anything to get back in this tournament. No, I was answering a super chat where they claimed it was all because of Howard and it wasn't. So get your story straight before you fucking try and accuse me of something. Joseph Silva, thanks for the tenor. <laughs> Next time Will comes into my friend's guitar shop, I'll get the truth and I'll play him video of both of you playing guitar. Trust me, I probably have seen and talked to him more recently than you. Uh, uh, all right, let's see. Do 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 do. Uh, do 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 do. Uh, I don't know if I could play uh, Spotify. I don't know if I have it on this computer. Yeah, see if I have any YouTube. Oh, I don't think it's going to come up. All right, here we go. Now, again, there are terminologies in this that are not acceptable anymore. This is in 1992. I don't like Oriental anger. I don't like PMS chicks, period. I don't like Cleveland Indian boat rides. I don't like guns with blanks and Brandon Lee movies. I don't like the baby boom generation. I don't like waking up to fat chicks. I could put up with it. I don't like the fact road. that Michael Stipe is living. I don't like changing diapers, especially when they're my home. I don't like anything you like. And I don't like paying for my pot. I don't like. I don't like. I don't like you either. Well, I don't like guys named Susan, and I don't like looking in the mirror because I don't like me either. I don't like people richer than me, MTV, Madonna and Ice-T, the PRMC, Paulie Shore and Spike Lee, and people pissing on me. I don't like my ex-wife lawyer, and I don't like the smell of your thoughts, but I love the smell of mine. I don't like mosquito bites, but I love to itch them. And I don't like people that pick their nose at a red light. I don't like you. Yeah. Oh, I don't like you either. Yeah, man. I don't I'm like that's no thing with me. I don't like you. I don't like you. Let's do it. Hey, let's do it. I don't like non-alcoholic 
alcoholic beer. Yep. And I don't like you either. But I like to ride the shoulder. And I was the kid in the bus giving you the finger. I like I, I like to drive about 90 just in a slow lane to piss you off. I don't like. I don't like. And I don't He don't like me either. I like to sneeze out the window. I don't like to put my hands in front of my mouth when I sneeze, because why should I get that shit over my hands? I don't like the fact that my dog has a better chance of having sex with Madonna than me. And I don't like you either. I don't like to touch my penis when I take a piss, because who knows what kind of disease you have in your hands when you shake my hand. I don't like comics who take themselves too seriously. I don't like waiting in line in the bank when it's my fucking money. I don't like bold record company guys with that stupid ponytail that's supposed to make them look hip. I don't like sex with my wife twice. Uh, are we done? What the? Hey, Joseph. Go ahead. Now you ask him. You're not going to beat me. You feel stupid? You should. Really, you should fucking super chat me back an apology. Make it a 50. Maybe a hundred. DJQ. Why do you cross your legs like a girl when you're sitting on the chair? I'm not. Then I crossed. <clears throat> talking about? All right. Trying to get caught up here. I like shitting in tubs. Knowing this is how you would spend your late 50s, what would you change about your life? Uh, this can't be how you imagine your life would turn out. I'm actually loving life. I love every breath, every move I make, every breath I take. Dude, short Fridays. Going to lock Joey up for years for doxing. It's a it's a minimum thirty thousand dollar fine in L.A. Geo Klein, explain why you worth two million but borrowed two k. I didn't borrow. He offered it to me. I don't. I'm. I will never turn down free money. Like Heather, who got me to compete. Why would I? I'm as frugal. I'm not as frugal as Gil, as Gilbert Garfield. Oh, I'm, fucking... <laughs> I'm not as frugal as Gilbert Godfrey was, but hey, fuck it, man. If Vince Law is going to pay for my flight, I'll take it. Broccoli's going to pay me to come to Atlanta City. I'll take it. Be, be crazy. Mule, hiya, buddy. Please spit our gleek. Onto the camera. I don't know. Got to think of something sour. Joseph Collins. Thanks for five. Did you read my previous Super Chat? Did I miss it? Yes, I did. I haven't missed one Super Chat. But I really... Uh, I got to do laundry. Roberto Rogers. Thanks for the books. I'm a lesbian woman sitting at home in my piss. Oh, in my PJs. Oh, so... Okay, that's cool. Suttering John is pro slaughter of innocent Palestinians. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Look, I think they should stop fighting over a fucking strip of land. Imagine there's no countries. It's easy if you try. Scale It's so funny. I had this fucking comic, an ex friend of mine, give me podcasting advice. Guy can't fucking get 10 listeners. Ryan A., how did it feel to get knocked out by H.G. Fenzai? I didn't get knocked out. Baba Bowie got hit. 
I didn't get right. He, he might have rubbed my cheek. Nicholas Elcock. <laughs> Thanks for the tenor. Just saw the proof that you didn't play guitar on your album. You really need to address it. Yeah, what proof is that? What proof is that? Please tell me. Please tell me. Show me the proof. Guys, why do you believe what Lady K is going to tell you? He also told you I don't have a degree from NYU. I mean, he also told you I don't have a Harley. When are you going to find? It's amazing the stupidity that you guys will fall to and believe some snaggletooth mom-banging loser who has a $200,000 house in Rochester. Robert Myers, my man. I only put the deposit down. I can cancel everything and get my deposit back. All right, well then, so then let me um, work my magic. Born wrong, Fred Flintstard. Thanks for the three bucks. Do you ever motorboat your sisters? <laughs> no. They're too fat. <sighs> okay, Nicholas Elcock. So your music is just a dental a ripoff. No, that wasn't that. Hey, Joe fucking Walsh came up with the title of the song. I don't like you either. When we were inebriated, uh, smoking pot and snorting coke in his, in his uh, basement in his Hollywood Hills house. So don't ever, ever say it was a ripoff of anything. In fact, it might have even be before Dennis Leary. I don't know. Tivo DeVito. <laughs> Thanks for the time. Cold gold makes you old way before your time. Cold gold makes you sleep right through your prime. Whiskey's for celebrating. Beer just gives you body weight and comes out of your ears before you try. I love, I know, I love Jack. He got, you know what? As he aged, he became, he wasn't able to laugh at himself anymore. That's a shame. I'll always laugh at myself. I mean, I just fucking spittled all over the place. Who gives a shit? Uncle Paul's funny smelling rag emporium. Thanks to us. Okay, that's a ducks. Uh, yeah, that's a ducks. All right, let me get rid of this guy. Vince, I'm getting rid of people that fucking are going to dox. You know, that I don't give a fuck. Say what you want, but if you're going to fucking dox, you know. Doxing is not okay. Happy Valley Wrecking Crew. Thanks for the fiber. Vince Loy engages with you for less because you're a buffoon whackpacker, just like high pitch. You are the punchline. That's fine. Huh? Uh, DJQ, Carl is more believable than you. We always believe him. I'll be good. Good. He's like, again, he's like the captain of the Poseidon adventure who's telling you, and you're going the wrong way, but it's okay. You be as stupid as you want. You be the sheep that hold up signs at Trump's fucking trial. I don't give a fuck. And I'm caught up. So let me thank everybody. Let me thank Chop Tovids, funeral director, uh, Daniel August, Short Fridays, Mike Oha, uh, K Mac thirty three forty four, John Zwerdy Whip Cam, Daniel August, Mike V, my man, uh, Five Finger Prostate Punch, T Bo Devito, Serial Killer Jack, uh, I said it, Leo Gunn, my man, Nate G, Jay in Japan. Uh, DJQ, Ryan A, my man, Kellen the rest, my man, uh, Spectre, my man, five, okay, so that, Penis Wrinkle, Bo Biddington, my man, uh, Joseph Silva, John O'Reilly, FKA Mammy, Daniel Poinsett, Steve C, your mom's box, hobby addict, uh, Danglin Wang, uh, Michael P, Apostle Woody, uh, Kel Norris, Mark Tone, Quest, Soldier 50, Beloved Chatter, uh, Snub, 
my P.I. Dusty, born wrong, Fred Flintstard, uh, Tillman, G. Rob, Marina, Marina, Tivo, DeVito, Pete D, not Jimmy Stewart, Slim Faley, uh, Gina, fake Gina Bobina, Joseph Collins, Rob Myers, Pink Taco, Nella, Nella, Jay Warren, Geo Klein, Vince the Evil Lawyer, uh, Joseph Silva, uh, Mule, Joseph Collins, Roberto Rogers, Stuttering John is poor slaughter of innocent Palestinians, uh, Nicholas Elcock, uh, Uncle Paul's Funny Smelling Rag Emporium, Happy Valley Wrecking Crew, and uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the show. I'll be back tomorrow. Same time, same bat channel. This is Stuttering John saying, Kiki.